Hello everyone. So a lot of programmers complain about competitive programmers using bad coding practices and rightfully so, our code is an unreadable mess. But I'm not here to preach to you the good coding practices. Instead, I'll be telling you my favorite bad coding practices that I do in CP that have actually helped me to avoid getting hacked and or failing system tests multiple times when my friends with same mistakes enjoyed a nice FST. So let's dive right into it. Number 4. Hash include bits stdc++.h So what is wrong with this? It is bad practice because it imports way too much unnecessary code into your translation unit. It is pretty harmless on the account of the fact that it can only cause slower compilation times and getting kicked out of C++ community, which would never accept you and your VLAs in the first place. For the uncultured folks here, VLAs are variable length arrays which are illegal in C++. Number 3. Too much stack size. This is not much complained about to be honest because a lot of people don't realize it is different in OJs. It is a bad practice because the more stack size, the more contiguous memory requirement is and the lesser number of parallel processes or threads can exist. It can also act as an infinite recursion detector. All this is worthless in CP though because all submissions are ran in a sandbox environment. Why is it helpful you might ask? It is helpful for writing recursive solutions which can go up to depth of 1e5 or something, allowing us to write DFS on graph of size of order of 1e5 like any other normal person. And also sometimes recursive DPs when we can't figure out the order of evaluation. I personally don't make my local environment stack size too much, but most online judges do have stack size same as memory limit which is pretty big. So more or less, I do take advantage of this bad practice, I guess. Number 2. Pragma Spam So if you don't know what these pragmas do, I'll link a great blog explaining them in the description. But for now, just think of them as black magic which can optimize your code if written properly. Always keeping them in your code is a bad practice as sometimes they may cause slowdown instead of speed up due to too much generated code which results in instruction cache misses or maybe some weird optimization compiler can do that can cause runtime error or a WA. And also why clutter your code with unnecessary stuff when you're gonna get minus 100 delta anyways. I still keep it in my CP template, reason being the instruction cache miss is not a likely scenario for a CP problem and I'm yet to face runtime error or WA with my pragmas. They vectorize my loops wherever possible making it fast so I usually stay away from being on the edge of the time limit which is always helpful especially in case the time limit is strict. This has actually helped me avoid FST once when I manually calculated ZOR of 1 to n for all test cases in this problem where t times n is 1.5 e10 but it still passed in 1.3 seconds. One of my friends who made the same mistake without the pragmas got a sweet FST. And now number 1 hash to find int long long. What this does is replace all int to be long long in the code which I don't know if I even have to explain but it's a very bad practice because you shouldn't change meaning of existing keywords. But in CP it has been extremely useful to me. I almost never have to worry about overflows which has saved me countless times from getting FST even though I am too lazy to stop using int everywhere. But with this, I have to be careful about MLEs, memory limit exceeded, which are much more rare than overflows. To abuse this to its fullest, using C++ 17 or later with 64-bit is heavily recommended. Even without it actually, but with this, these compilers code run much faster and speed penalty of using 64-bit integers instead of 32-bit is very less. Sometimes it can run even faster. Another benefit of using 64-bit compiler that goes hand in hand with this bad habit is that size t is also 64-bit. So even when using that, you don't have to worry about overflows and treat it just like your normal ints. That is long long. This actually did help me in this problem where due to this line of code, many people were getting hacked but not me. I'm not a casual because I write bad code. And now a special tip for non-C++ programmers. Also, please subscribe.